Okay, so before we get into using VOCR, there is a couple of things you may want to be aware of before using it to OCR your computer screen. The first thing is if you use screen curtain a lot, you may want to verify that screen curtain is off before using VOCR. The key command to toggle screen curtain on or off is VO Shift F11. Screen curtain on, screen curtain off. And you may want to hide voiceover visuals, VO Command F11. Hide voiceover visuals. Show voiceover visuals. Hide voiceover visuals. And I just turn voiceover visuals off in voiceover utility under the visual category. So let's go ahead and try to install something here. This is Stereo Room from Eventide. 2016 Stereo Room 3.7.4 OS X installer app. Application. All right, so I'm going to run this installer. So command down arrow on this. Open selection. Application. Alert. System dialog. 2016 Stereo Room 3.7.4 OS X installer app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you open? Default button. Go Finder. Ahead and open to that. Application. Window. Password. Secure edit text has keyboard focus. Go to my password again. To now in. Setup. Window. Set. And you see this installer is pretty much inaccessible. I'm doing via left to right arrow. Nothing. So I'm going to do Control Command Shift W. Finished. All right. Now I can use Control Command up and down arrow to read through this. Yes. No. Setup 2016 Stereo Room, B850. Welcome to the 2016 Stereo Room Setup Wizard. Eventide Registered Sign, 1.001, Blurrettable. Cancel, back next, cancel, back next. So you see it says cancel, back next. I want to hit that next button, so I'm going to do Control, Command, right arrow to move over to it. Back, next. All right, there we are, next. I'm going to do a VO Shift Space to click on it. Now I'm going to rescan the window with Control, Command, Shift, W. Finished. All right, control command down arrow to read through this. Yes, no. License agreement. Please read the following license agreement. This agreement before continuing with the installation product license and usage agreement. By clicking on the accept button, bound by the terms of this license, click on the decline button and or do one. Like physically transfer the soft one computer at a time and that software is being trans software installation. You may not. Uh, Sublicenses or other network. Time sharing. Even tied. I'll accept the agreement. Do you accept this license? I do not accept the agreement. VMware install builder. I do not. Do you accept this license? I do not accept the agreement. VMware install builder. Cancel. Back net. Cancel. Back net. Be wary. I do not accept the. Do you accept this license? I'll accept the agreement. All right. So I'm going to guess that hidden right there where it says accept this agreement will be the accept button. So I'm just going to use the right I'll accept arrow. The agreement. I'll accept the agreement. So that looks like it's just one word when I do control command right arrow that's being seen as one element. I'll accept the agreement. So I'm just going to do VO shift space. And now I need to go down and click on next. Do you accept this license? I do not accept the VMware install builder. Cancel. Back next. Cancel. Back next. And I'm assuming that next button haven't moved, so I'm not going to rescan the window. So now I'm just going to do Control Command right arrow. Back. Next. Next. And view shift space on that. Now I'm going to rescan the window. So Control Finish. Command Shift W. Yes. No. Plugin formats. Please select the plugin formats to install. AAX 64 bit AAX for Pro Tools 11 plus. So. AU 64 bit audio unit. It doesn't say which one's checked here, but usually they're all checked by default. So I'm going to assume they're all checked by default. VST2, VST3, 64 bit VST3. And just go ahead and install these. Documentation, VMware install builder, cancel, back, cancel, back next. All right, so now I need to use Control Command right arrow to go back to next. Back, next. And VO Shift Space to click on it. Next. And now I'm going to rescan the window, Control Command Shift W. Finished. All right. And once again, control command up and down arrow to navigate through here. Yes, no. Ready to install. All right. Control command down arrow is what I'm using. Setup is now ready to begin installing 2016 stereo room on your VMware install builder. Cancel. Back. Cancel. Back next. And I can use control command right arrow. Back. Next. To get over to the next button. And obviously, if I use control command left arrow. Back. Cancel. It'll take me back to those other elements. So I'm going to do control command right arrow back. again. Next. I'm on next. VO shift space. Next. Next. And control shift command. Control command shift W to rescan. Now that I've given it a couple seconds to probably get through the installation. Finished. All right. And control command down arrow. Yes, no. Completing the 2016 stereo room setup wizard. B850. Setup has finished installing 2016. Your computer. Even tied registered sign. 1.001. Blurrettable. Cancel. Back. Cancel. Back. Finish. All right. So now I'm going to use Control Command right arrow to go over finish. Back, finish. And VO shift space on that. Finder. 2016. And there we go. We just used VOCR to navigate our way through an inaccessible plugin installer in this tutorial. All right. So that's pretty much it for this one. Once again, this is not a substitute for looking at the README. 
I just wanted to give you guys an overview how to use this and I need to reinstall it. There's a couple things I did not touch on, case in point. You can save the output with Control Command Shift S. And there is some other stuff regarding resetting the position and some sound positioning that you can also use as well. So give the README a look as well and hopefully you found this useful and helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this where I go over some stuff specific to voiceover and Mac OS, then please feel free to drop a comment down below. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover, you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again there is a link to that in the description below also don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on youtube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial hope you found that useful and helpful please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to logic and voiceover as always everyone until next time happy recording